Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser was sitting in the front row at former President Trump's campaign rally yesterday when those shots were fired. He joins us now to tell us more about what he heard and saw in those terrifying moments. Good morning, Congressman. Um, what went through your head? Hi, John. Uh, yeah, hey, good to be with you. Yeah, it was certainly a tragic day. I, I heard some of the other uh, comments being made by Lita Scalise and uh, former chairman uh, Lenz Prius. Um, it was um, it was a, it was a, a bad situation. Uh, you know, it started as a typical rally. Of course, uh, Trump was in great spirits. We gave our opening remarks prior. I was I was sitting with um, Mike Kelly, congressman from Western PA, and as well as uh, Dave McCormick, the U.S. Senate candidate, and we. Um, we're five or six, seven minutes into uh, the president's speech when shots rang out. And after the second shot, we uh, sound, we knew what was what was happening. And particularly when I looked at President Trump and saw him grab his side of his head and, and hit the deck. So uh, a little bit of pandemonium uh, took place. I mean, certainly screams and, and people were very upset, a lot, a lot of tears. Uh, and frankly, when the uh, when the president stood up and gave his uh, his uh, his fist that he was OK, uh, that, that cooled a lot of people. I mean, it, it was pretty amazing uh, fortitude of the president to be able to have the wherewithal and instincts to, to do that. So just shows that he um, he knows how, he knows how to lead. He knows how to um, make people feel better in a, in a really, really uh, trying situation. And, you know, frankly, John, I'm glad that the shooter, you know, I mean, look, somebody some whether he's, he's insane or mentally disabled, uh, you know, he, he, you lose your life. You, you do uh, something horrible like that. And let's face it, our victim, uh, victims um, are, um, uh, you know, he, he murdered an yeah. individual. We got two in critical care, which are, you know, sympathies and, and, and prayers go out to the, them and their families. So it was bad, bad scene. How, tell me about the range of con uh, conversations you've had, Congressman, either with your colleagues or constituents, um, as you dis discuss the fallout from uh, from this moment, well, you know, quite encouraging and quite uh, perhaps uh, uniting. Um, I've heard from many, many Republicans, of course, but I also heard from many, uh, many Democrats. I heard from our governor of Pennsylvania. I, I heard from uh, 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 House member uh, Chrissy Houlihan, to, just to name a, a couple. And they were very sincere, and they they really want to do what they can do to um, to uh, help have a better a better dialogue, a better environment, not just with me, but in general. Uh, but I, I will say, just as Steve Scalise was pointing out a little while ago, and I Mike Johnson earlier, I mean, the, some of the demonizing of President Trump is just not only is it true, it's um, uh, you know it's, it's vir virtually hostile. I mean, John, I, I can sit in committee meetings sometimes, and, and people refer to the president in the worst sort of terms, and um, uh, and MAGA is worse than a, than a four-letter word, and referring to him as a tyrant and how he's going to destroy democracy. Um, mm -hmm. I can imagine what they say in their in their stump speeches back home. But there's Dan. plenty of blame to go around. We can we can all we all need to understand that we have a responsibility here to improve the political environment. Congressman Dan Muser, thank you so much for being with us.